if A is a square n by n matrix, then the trace of the matrix A, denoted TR of A, is defined to be the sum of the main diagonal entries of A, which we could write like this, A11 plus A22 plus all the way up through ANN. The trace of A is the sum of its diagonal entries. Let's see some quick examples. Let's find the trace of each matrix if it is defined. Beginning with matrix A, is the trace of A defined? Yes, because matrix A is two by two. It's a square matrix, so its trace is defined and it's the sum of its diagonal entries. So one plus two. The trace of A then equals 3. What about matrix B? The dimensions of matrix B are 3 by 2. So the trace of B is not defined because B is not a square matrix. So I'll just put a big X through trace of B. What about matrix C? The dimensions of matrix C are 3 by 3. So this is a square matrix and hence its trace is defined. The trace of matrix C is the sum of its diagonal entries. So 3 plus 6 plus 2, and that's 11. Finally, what about matrix D? Matrix D has dimensions 1 by 1. It is a square matrix, and hence its trace is the sum of its diagonal entries. It has only one diagonal entry, which is its only entry at all, and that's pi. So the trace of D is pi. That's the trace of a matrix and how to find it. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and be sure to check out my linear algebra course and linear algebra exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about. Mama. Stressed out, honey, I've been stressed out lately. Don't know what's what, don't know what I'm stressed about. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're